get to their identity doctrine. What I mean is they want to make this claim about who they are uh, as if it's, it's, it's the, the most important thing. It's the golden goose. You know what I mean? With the golden eggs. It is the, it is the most important thing. Because um, if, if you're not an Israelite, the scriptures don't apply to you. Period. You can't be of another nation and I'll pick up the scriptures and all of a sudden, oh, this applies to me. Oh, this is a blessing. No, the blessings apply to the Israelites, pursuant to uh, Romans, the ninth chapter. The adoption, the glory, the services of the Most High, the giving of the law, and the promises as to whom as concerning the flesh, the Messiah came. That's what it says. That's what it says. I deny, even if it was true, the importance or relevance to that fact. They don't like that because they feel like they've all won a lottery ticket. They think they're hero Israelites. And that, yeah, exactly. We, we, we did win a lottery ticket. But we won a lottery ticket because we're Israelites. Only Israelites can play that lottery. And every any Israelite that plays that lottery wins. All right. Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha Quraysh. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I just played a clip from a response done by the beloved brother Amawan Gabar. Um, this page, uh, GMS Awakening 144 Ba. And, um,. The title of that video is The Game is Rigged. And yes, all Israelites did win this lottery. The kingdom. And yeah, you tight. Speaking of this uh, guy, Vocab Malone, who's pissed that the Israelites have awakened in these latter days. Which means ultimately he's pissed at biblical prophecy. He's pissed that we no longer subscribe to being black hispanic native american and all of the every byword you know that we've been uh, uh called man and yes knowing who we are as israelites is very important all right to our conduct to our behavior and everything else because see here it is everyone complains when a nigga is a nigga all right going around the earth you know doing a uh, wickedness but when we change that Okay, and put on, therefore, the elect, as the scriptures say, then it's a problem. And this guy is, is, is bugging himself out to stop what is written and it's not working. As the scripture said, after three days and a half of being in a dead state, okay, which is symbolic of a time period where there was a great falling away. A great apostasy, as it says in the book of Second Thessalonians, where the Israelites will be totally detached from who they are. All right, as the scriptures say, and we'll go back to this one because we'll, this is, you know, one of my favorite scriptures. I always bring this out, but let's get Jeremiah 17 and 4. Um, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter and the fourth verse, which is one of the scriptures that. You know, they uh, they mock it, you know, they mock that we bring this out to say that we lost understanding of who we are. <laughs> now, um, let me read this. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And it says, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger and shall burn forever. Okay, now, they say that this isn't talking about the Israelites discontinuing from the understanding of who they are and all of this. That's just speaking of the land. Discontinuing from the heritage is just being discontinued from the land. All right, but are not the testimonies and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that comes with how to upkeep that land a part of the heritage as well? Well, let's see. Okay, let's get the book of... Let's see here. Psalms 119. And we discontinue from everything, man. And that's a future prophecy of the great falling away. Not only were we taken out of the land, but the ways of righteousness 
okay, that come with wisdom were detached from us, man. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 111. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. And we've been returned, okay, to the understanding of who we are, the understanding of what's required of us, the understanding of why we're in this uh, dark you know, a situation here upon the earth, why the people who are in rulership are doing what they're doing. We we understand all of those things now. And you're mad. You wanted us to remain in darkness. You see, the testimonies, the truth overall comes with having that land. And to get back to that land, first we had to be returned to the understanding of who we are. And you can read that in the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. And let's get that in the book of Isaiah, the 44th chapter, because, yes, we hit the jackpot and you, you, you hurt, as the uh, beloved brother said, you tight. And that's a up, uh, that's a East Coast slang for you're mad, you're pissed off. And you're doing all of these shows, you're trying to gather together a remnant to come against the remnant. And it's not working. You're not going to stop us from 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 this truth. We're not returning to the filth and vomit in, 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 of Christianity. Here it is. This guy is all on his... A brother just sent the screenshot. He's all on his uh, Instagram posting about the Israelites because IUIC, they're doing their Feast of Tabernacles and they actually go and for seven days stay in tents. I don't know if their whole congregation does it, but some of them do it, which, you know, within liberty, they, they can do that, right? Now, here it is. He's mad and mocking them going to sit in tents because of the, the feast of tabernacles but here it is he celebrates christmas now where is christmas in the holy scriptures he said christmas is a cool thing now where where is christmas in the scriptures where does it tell us to celebrate christmas in the scriptures you see they want you in that dead state they do not want to see you happy they don't want to see you loving yourself they don't want to see you uh uh, uh you know in 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 Dwelling in unity, they don't want to see any of that. <laughs> you know, they want you to be in a thug life, dark, wop type of state, man. If we were marching up and down the street talking about Black Lives Matter, do you think Vocab Malone would give a damn to come and help us or talk, tell us anything? No. We wouldn't even be mentioned. See, repentance, as we always tell you, is the biggest weapon against these devils. It's hurting them. He's hurt because we've repented. And he acts as if the Israelites coming back to the understanding of who they truly are by nationality. Okay. Is it important? So knowing who you are isn't important. Now, they talk about salvation is for everybody. They talk about all of these various different things, but self couldn't tell you what salvation is. They talk about this salvation thing as it's just something you can hand out and, you know, with a bag of chips. Here, here's your salvation. Here's your No, salvation is the law, statutes, and commandments being written inside of the Israelites, starting with the elect. And that's not for all nations, man. The covenants, as the elder apostle Tahar read, before we get that, let's get that. In, uh, let's read it out of the scriptures, man. The first covenant was the law, statutes, and commandments being written on stone. Where Israel entered into a covenant agreement with the Lord. You can read that in, I believe, uh, Exodus 24. And we broke that covenant. So now we're under grace. To be entered into the new covenant, which was promised and prophesied. You can read that in the book of Jeremiah, the 34th first chapter which is reiterated in the book of hebrews the uh, eighth chapter and in the tenth when it speaks about the new covenant that will be made which is an upgraded agreement where the laws will be put in our inward part that's that's not for everyone salvation is not for everyone now everyone will eventually benefit from the salvation of the lord's chosen elect under yahweh shai being put in in, in order and running the world because the world will then be governed in its right way. And when the girl, when the world is governed in its right way, it leads to life. Man, I was watching videos last night on how the ecosystem, man, it all, it all, everything operates in harmony as one. You take one thing out, like wolves, 
let's say there's a shortage of wolves or that they go extinct, that ruins not only the, that ruins the ecosystem, man. That ruins the water. That ruins rivers. And that's just one mechanism being taken out of the Lord's ecosystem. When we rule the earth, everything will be put back in its rightful order. You Christians ain't talking about the earth returning to that. So we've thrown your Christianity away as a menstruous cloth, as we read, read in the book of Isaiah, the 30th chapter. Once we saw our teachers, we were we hit the jackpot. And you want us to go back to ramen noodles. OK, and in and, 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 uh, pseudo signs and lies. And, and throw away the, the, the lottery ticket. Yeah, we get hit the lottery ticket, but we've got more than a lottery ticket at the end of the day. <laughs> We've got the true wisdom, which is above money, which is above gold, which is above rubies. And you're hurt. This is Romans chapter 9 and 3. For I wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Basically, he's saying, I wish that I could be a sacrifice. Like Moses, there was one point where he told the Lord, hey, man, just take me, you know, l let me be. The sacrifice, right? And this is what Paul is saying. It says, For my breath, for my kinsmen according to the flesh, his family. Okay, the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's what the Bible's all about. <laughs> Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Let's look up the word adoption. To whom pertaineth the adoption? We of Isia. I'll just get to the point. The relationship with God, which God was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all nations. Here it is. You here it is. The whole Bible is about the sons of God, their fall, okay, and their rising. The giving of the law to them, you know, when they, when they became a large nation in Egypt. Okay, their breaking of that covenant, their divorce from the Heavenly Father, their scattering, their curse, them being, you know, led away captive. And then there's prophecies. Well, then he sends Yahawashai to be an ultimate sacrifice to bring them back to him, which is the adoption. Okay. And then there's prophecies in the latter days, there will be a remnant, according to grace, who will return through faith. And we're, we're fulfilling that prophecy, and you all are mad. You all want to detach the nation of Israel from the promises and from everything the Bible was about. As a matter of fact, real quick, we'll go right back to that. Revelation 21. Now here it is. They talk about heaven and all of these things. Well, let's read about the kingdom of heaven. Revelation 21 and 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, which is the elect under Yahweh, the holy Jerusalem descending from God out of heaven. Now, what do Christians will tell you whether the literal city of Jerusalem is going to come down from heaven? They don't know what the hell is going on. Having the glory of God in her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone as clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and the names written thereof, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You see that? Then it, go, then, then it goes to the 12 apostles of the Lamb showing you that they're going to come back. Then as you read down, it goes into the 140 and 4,000, which is the tabernacle of David. One, verse 17, and he measured the wall thereof. In a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is of an angel. That's the house of David. Okay? So the whole kingdom is centered around the, 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 the Messiah, the, 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 the Israelites, the twelve disciples, the 144,000. Yet, you got a problem with us being happy that we're the Israelites. Meanwhile, there's a group of people who for years been saying that they're the Israelites, still in land, bombing did they know the Palestinians out of the land? And all of this stuff. Yet that's not a problem. 
Huh? What the hell? That's not a problem. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever. There we go. All right. So let's read this again. Romans 9 and 3. For I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God <clears throat> and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Hamashiach came who was over all blessed forever Amen. And you're mad that we've come to the understanding that we're the Israelites man you see that what, what are you what, why are you so mad why are you tight, B? People call themselves Jews every day, B. Why don't you go say something to them? Why, why aren't they a threat or a problem? Why, why don't you tell them, you know, when they say, you know, all of these different heathens get off the airplane talking about we've returned to our motherland. We are the chosen. We are the seed of Abraham, you know, Abraham and all of these various. Why, why, why is it a problem then? The covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises, okay, are for the Israelites, man. And let's read a prophecy concerning that seed. Isaiah 44 and 1, Yet hear now, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb. Which help thee, fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Yeshurun, whom I have chosen. Here it is, Christians, with Christians, all things are possible with God. Okay, you burn in hell forever. All things are possible except a nigga, Latino and Native American, calling himself an Israelite. <laughs> that's the only that's that's the one thing that's not possible. And really what it boils down to is you're an Edomite and you're pissed off and hurt and you've been sent by a group of people who are stressed the hell out, who, who watch your videos to make themselves feel better about how they feel and you're losing miserably, you're failing. Okay, you're a, I told you to your face, you're an agent and you were sit by the so-called Jews. I told you that to your face that you were going to make a documentary about the Israelites and that you're gathering intel and that your true intent is not to uh, talk about the Bible. You're just trying to get buzz clips so that you can play on the flesh and do videos because now you don't care about the gospel of Christ. Your only motive is to establish that we ain't the Israelites and to throw doubt and to stop this movement. And it's not happening. It's gotten bigger. And the water for the publicity. Because there's people who are watching your video. Because the Lord, the way he works is, shit, maybe 5,000 a watch. But two will actually eventually repent. Israelites. Thus saith the Lord that formed thee from the womb, which helped thee, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Yashawan, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. Now, does not Ezekiel 37 chapter say we would be dry bones? And how would the Lord pour water upon them that is thirsty? <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's get Isaiah the 58th chapter. Just rolling in the spirit. I saw that video. Saw Apostle Gabar's video. I saw Amawanga Bar's video. I gotta watch Elder Apostle Tahar's video. Should have watched that one first, but you know how sometimes the spirit does what it does. Um Let's see here. This is Isaiah fifty eight and ten. And if thou draw out thy soul to be hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, 
and we've been satisfied. We were afflicted, we were dry bones, but now we're fed, we're nourished. Water has been poured upon the dry ground, and a miracle has happened. Like, what's that famous speech or poem, a rose grew from the concrete? Well, that's us. And you all thought that the concrete was just going to sit there and that you all had us buried, but now we're here. You see, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity. And that's what's happened. We've come out of that darkness in obscurity. And thy darkness shall be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul. And see, Christians will say, well, this is the Old Testament. The Old Testament is done away with. No, the Old Covenant is done away with. There are still prophecies in the Old Testament. Okay. That, 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 that haven't been fulfilled, man. You people just need to be quiet when it, when it comes to the Bible. And this is why people are confused about the Bible, because Christians have been the, at the forefront of the ones talking about it and teaching it. And now that we've woke up, now they have to try to defend, and, and it's not working, man. You're making yourself look bad, and you look desperate. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like the water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. And the water he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So the Lord will send us prophets as he's always done when we were in a state of rebellion. The Lord will raise up particular men to put Israel back in a right mind and that's happening here right now and you're mad that he's communicating back with his true wife his true woman he ain't choose you other hoes and you want us to remain in the spirit of playing a harlot and being a black christian and all of this other madness and worshiping these idols man and bowing to mary Where's your videos on, on all of the, 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 the our people who are in a de destroyed state doing those things? And they shall be, and they that shall be of thee, your offspring, shall build the old waste places, the tabernacle of David, and raise up the foundation of many generations. All right, and thou shalt be called the repair, repair of the breach, the restorer of the path to dwell in. Okay, and this is what's happening. We are being restored into the paths that we are to dwell in. And for some reason, that, that has this guy pissed. <sighs> now, before we read this, let's go back to that video and listen to this clown. You damn right we hit the jackpot. even if it's true the importance or relevance to that fact they don't like that because they feel like they've all won a lottery ticket they think they're heroes of us and that yeah exactly we we, we did win, win a lottery ticket but we won a lottery ticket because we're israelites only israelites can play that lottery and every any israelite that plays that lottery wins and he's mad because we hit the lottery <laughs> he's like no now they got money. Now they love themselves. And the true money is this wisdom, man. But let's let's show you that us returning to our true biblical nationality is important. That's the start. All right, the names of the Lord and knowing we're Israelites is the start to us repenting. True repentance, not that washed up Christianity garbage man Isaiah 44 and 1 for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty through the prophets teaching his word and floods upon the dry ground I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring who would be as the sand of the sea but a remnant will return is not that prophecy that a remnant of the nation of Israel will return and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am Yahweh's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. 
Another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh and surname himself by the name of Israel. Wait a minute. This is prophecy. Let's see what the scholars say about this one. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see. Some garbage. This expressed the success of the apostles ministry not only among the Jews but more especially among the Gentiles all right now who are the Gentiles according to the scriptures the Gentiles are those Israelites who were scattered who lost their heritage who lost the understanding of who they are via what following idols okay okay and be and by, and by grace which were under grace being converted okay now let's get that in the book of and of course they're going to add their rhetoric but this doesn't go along the way that you all break it down and you don't break this down doesn't go with biblical prophecy man let's get isaiah the first chapter and did not the messiah quote the book of isaiah isaiah 1 and 27 zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness her converts before that i will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning he's building the tabernacle of david as in the days of old so how in the hell can all nations be saved when when david's tabernacle was on the scene and in, in, in power all 12 tribes dwell together okay as a sovereign government governing nation man and all of the heathen were under them. The enemies were made a footstool. And David even re rejoiced in that, man. And when you read the book of Acts, the, uh, f the uh, 15th chapter, the disciples came to the conclusion, oh, the tabernacle of David is these Gentiles. But it just wasn't fulfilled at that time. When James quoted it, it's going to be fulfilled in this time. That the tabernacle of David which are the Gentiles, we are Gentiles, right? We were Gentiles. Because the scriptures say ye were Gentiles carried away of those dumb idols. But now we have been converted in the destruction of the transgressors and sinners shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed and destroyed, right? Second Thessalonians twelve, I mean Second Corinthians twelve. First Corinthians. First Corinthians twelve. We were strangers to the covenants, man. First Corinthians twelve and two. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, man. You see that? And a part of those idols were Christianity, Christmas. <laughs> The Mother Mary and whatever other garbage we were into. But now we've converted. And that is the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David. Yahweh Shai is sending down the Holy Spirit onto the castaways who were, were, were strangers to the covenants. Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember that being in that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision. And that was the issue. Those Jews who were cultivated and raised in the customs looked down upon those repenting Israelites who came back into the fold through grace. You See that? The uncircumcision are the Israelites who were not raised in the customs. Now, was not Abraham uncircumcised when he received the blessing? And move through faith the same thing with us now some of us may have had the, the circumcised penis but we were uncircumcised in our hearts okay our spirits okay but when you convert you clip off that wickedness symbolic it says that at that time you were without the Messiah being aliens from the Commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise now are the covenants of promise to all nations no. 
having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Yahweh Shahamashiach, ye who were sometimes afar off are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Who have made both one and have broken down the middle, middle wall of partition and have abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law and the commandments contained in ordinances. Because that first covenant was broken. We needed Yahweh Shai, a sacrifice to bring us back to the Most High and make peace between us and our power because the friction was the fact that we couldn't in this flesh fulfill that first covenant and keep those laws perfectly. Okay? So those Israelites who were scattered, they were Gentiles, but they put away the Gentile behavior, they put away the idols, and to the best of their ability, followed the teachings of the disciples to be brought back to the Most High. And that's happening now, and you're hurt. You're hurt that this prophecy is being fulfilled. And you're making a damn fool of yourself, man. And wisdom is above, okay, Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather than chosen, to be chosen than silver? Let's read that again. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to, to be chosen than silver? See, we'll rather, we'll rather be chosen by Yahweh Bashim Shai. And get the true wisdom, which is going to lead to even even bigger than a lottery ticket. Because on this side, you know, you hit a lottery, you, you happy as hell. You see, but we have all of that in spirit. We went from, all right, uh, uh, pretty much poor to rich. And the true riches is wisdom. So, yes, we've hit the jackpot. We've hit the lottery. We're, we're rejoicing. We're celebrating. And you over there on the corner hurt. Hurt. Hey, that, that's the fulfillment of the prophecy. That they, the enemies that beheld them are going to be, <laughs> let's get that and we'll finish it off. Um, In the book of uh, Revelation. <laughs> you mad. You mad, bro. Like they say, you eating all that pizza. Okay, going to Party City, get the costumes, put trying to match your Kango with your mustache. You hurt. You hurt, bro. This is Revelation 11. See, when we were in a dead state, everybody was rejoicing. See that? That's uh, Revelation 11 and 9. Giving gifts one to another, being they were make they were they were merry. You see. Uh, uh, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry. Let's read that word, make merry. Because when we were niggas, man, everybody was cool. Everybody was happy. When we were niggas, they were making merry, you freno. To be glad and to be joyful, to rejoice, to rejoice, to be delighted with it. They were delighted with us being stupid and, and defeated. But after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God into the two of them and they stood up on their feet which means they returned to their true biblical nationality which means they repented which means wisdom entered into them and great fear fell upon them which saw them now let's look at this word fear and you don't love us man phobos you have a phobia <laughs> of the Israelites know who they are. Fear, dread, terror, that which strikes terror. Reverence for one's husband. You're fearing us. As a woman who does wrong, know her husband is going to be pissed. Okay? You're, you're scared, man. Dread is upon the mind of Vocab Malone, man. And guess what's next? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hinder. Here they ascended into heaven in a cloud. And their enemies beheld them. Shouldn't the enemies be in hell? Well, how are the enemies beholding the Israelites being delivered? Why aren't they, why, why aren't they in hell? <laughs> Terra. When you read the NLT, Terra 
struck all who were staring at them. <laughs> and that nigga is staring at us. Because when you go to his page, every video is about the Israelites. Hurt. And he's tight. Shalom.